A warm welcome from the School of Mathematics here at Monash. Exciting news everybody! As science students you all get to take at least one maths unit right at the beginning of your degree. There! Unlike in the other science disciplines there are lots of different entry points into maths. Depending on what level of mathematics you finished with at school and what sort of science you're particularly interested in. In the following my main mission is to help you choose the entry maths unit that is right for you. Before I do this though here are three and a bit very important messages. First, no matter what you're interested in in science you will need a fair amount of maths and computer literacy to survive and thrive here at university and beyond. In fact you'll need much much more maths, stats and computing at uni than what you may be used to from school. Second, a lot of future employers and people in general equate maths with being smart and so it's not a bad idea to also get a mathematical and computational seal of approval as part of your degree. Third, it's actually not that hard to give yourself a mathematical edge that really registers with employers. Remember that you have to do one maths unit anyway. So why not do some more mathematics and computing beyond that to get yourself a minor in maths or a major or a master's or a PhD. <laughs> All fun degrees you can do here at Monash but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay let's figure out what to choose as your first maths unit. Getting this right is super important. First, to save one special group among you watching the rest of this video, if you are an engineering student who also wants to complete a maths major, very important, apart from doing all the engineering maths units, once you've passed the engineering maths unit Eng 1005, as soon as possible enroll in the bridging unit MTH 2040. Okay engineers, that's all you need to know for the moment. You can switch channels now. <laughs> for the rest of you, locate where you are on this map in terms of the level of Victorian math subjects or their equivalent. That's the green boxes. Okay. Now we have to figure out which of the units in the boxes at the top and at the bottom is the best starting point for you. The easiest units are the two on the left. The orange unit techniques for modeling on the right is the most advanced. The orange unit is also the one unit that you absolutely have to pass if you intend to do any higher level mathematics. In general you have to pass one of these five units to satisfy the science maths requirement. The remaining sixth unit is of no use in this respect. It's just a calculus catch-up unit for those of you who did not do methods in school. Okay, getting there. Now, whichever green box you're in, say you're in the green methods box, you cannot enroll in any unit to your right. The remaining ones are in principle all open to you. Having said that, if you're in the methods or specialist box, you can only enroll in the units below if you scored at least a raw 25 or a raw 30 in those VCE units. For example, let's say you are in the methods box, did pretty well in methods 3-4 and you want or need some higher level mathematics because you're aiming for a Nobel Prize in physics. Then you should enroll in the unit analysis of change in your first semester. Then in the orange gateway unit techniques for modeling in your second semester and then continue with higher level maths units from there. Or we're still talking about you in the methods box. Maybe you just want to get the science maths requirement out of the way and anticipate that some stats will get you closer to your Nobel Prize in physiology. Then you should go for the unit statistical methods for science. That one there. Careful though, if you intend to do higher level statistics you also have to complete the orange gateway unit and don't really need this particular statistics unit. Now if on the other hand you've decided once and for all that mathematics and you don't get on well, <laughs> then you should go for the really doable but maths-wise terminating stats unit Introduction to Statistical Reasoning. For the vast majority of you in the non-methods, non-specialist or equivalent box, this is also the maths unit of choice. Of course if you need some higher level maths go down enroll in the unit functions and their applications and then make your way to the orange unit techniques for modeling. 
If you arrive at Monash with Specialist 3.4 or equivalent maths under your belt, then if in addition you scored at least a raw 30 in Specialist 3.4, you should enroll straight away in the Orange Gateway Unit Techniques for Modeling and follow this up with the Purple Unit Multivariable Calculus in the following semester. In fact, if you are a mathematical superstar with a score of at least 35 in Specialist 3.4, Every year in first semester we've got the thing for you, an advanced version of techniques for modeling. Pretty amazing mathematical company, really serious and therefore seriously fun maths from day one, etc. Ask us about the details. In general, if there's anything that's not clear or if I did not cover your special circumstances, please ask or read our information leaflet. Now, regardless of what science you are particularly interested in, it is strongly recommended you enroll in the new unit Introduction to Scientific Coding sometime during your first year. In this unit you get introduced to coding in two of the computer languages R, Python, MATLAB and Mathematica. You choose which two. I'll finish with two important footnotes for all of you who intend to go further with either mathematics or computational science. First, sequences. As part of your science degree, you're supposed to finish two sequences of units in your first year at uni. Here, a sequence is a pair of units from one of the sciences that complement each other. Since you have to do one maths unit anyway, you need only one extra maths unit to complete a sequence in maths. Every possible sequence in maths includes the orange gateway unit plus one of these four units corresponding to four possible math sequences. Did you spot that extra unit MAT 1830? If you are after a major in computational science, both this discrete maths unit for computer science and the orange unit are compulsory. As well, as a budding computer scientist in your first year at uni, you have to enroll in these IT units here or the advanced versions. And that's it. Again, welcome from us here in maths and all the best for your studies at Monash.